Good morning, Merry Christmas. It's time for the Christmas rant. It's not bad for an old man, 250 yards down here. The huge divot hole by my bag and the divot's 10 yards on, so it's a bit of a shame really, isn't it? People not picking up divots. But it's Christmas. You can't have a rant at Christmas. That was just a little bit thin and it hurt a bit. <laughs> oh, what? <sighs> that was in, man, that was in. Right. Bit of a walk back now to the 10th. Yeah, I'm off the 9th again because of the winter league going off the front. You know, they're playing a competition, they have priority, as it should be. Well, the last month it's been very wet, very windy, once a week golf. Haven't re really been able to get out and film. And I got a bit stressy about it. And then I thought, hang on a minute, golf is your sport, your hobby, your pastime. YouTube's just a little side shoot of that. And if you can't do it, what's it matter? So uh, I've de-stressed. Oh, just going past seven here. They're redoing the bunkers. It's all a bit muddy now with the, uh, with the vehicles coming backwards and forwards and digging holes and what have you. But that's gonna be good in the spring. Right, number 10, five wood, normal sort of thing. Always nice to get your little tea peg back. Well, in front of the Winter League, there's a couple of two balls who went out early. Now, as I'm only playing half a round of golf and they're playing a full round of golf, I must give way to them the moment they catch me up. And they're on the ninth green. So uh, I'm gonna take it easy to allow them to catch up quicker and get them through quicker. Flag's down the front. I haven't seen it down the front in... I haven't seen it down the front. Miss the green, that's poor. Ooh. Oh, that needed hitting. Yeah, there's a bit of moisture on the greens this morning. It's dropping out of the sky. It's a bit like, it's, it's more like kind of like a fog rather than rain. So I need to hit them. Yeah, the guys are coming up 10 now. They're playing very quick. So what I'm gonna do, stand aside, let them go. Might tee off on 11 first and then just hang around the 11th tee and let them go. So 11's on this temporary still, and it will be really until April. So we're left with this little 92 yarder. Right, so I've just played. Guys are on the 10th green, so we'll let them go. So 
that's something that some people don't realize. If you're only playing half around a golf, you've got no priority on the golf course over someone playing 18. A lot of people don't know that. Practice ground is filling up with soil. No idea when it's going to be open, but uh, when it is, you can bet that I will be digging a very long furrow on there. If I can get back to how I used to practice, golf will suddenly become very easy again. Right, I've been sorting out next year's schedule for my away days. Obviously I've got the big one, the holiday. Touch wood, it actually comes off. Because, you know, nothing's certain in this world at the moment. So I did uh, Mobbusher golf courses last year. This year. And uh, I thought, where should I go next year? So I thought I could try Herefordshire, Worcestershire, Warwickshire, Oxfordshire, or Bristol. There's loads of courses in Bristol. So I did some research on that, green cost of green fees, etc. Because, you know, I, I, I want to go to golf courses which are affordable. That's, that is really important to me. And it's, judging by the comments, it's important to you. No point me going to golf courses that cost 125 quid because you're never going to go. So I thought, should I do hilltop courses? So I had a look around at hilltop courses in the near area. And then I came up with a different plan. And uh, you'll have to see how that pans out. Now I've been contacted by an assistant pro, a young man who's looking to get into teaching and mending clubs and that sort of thing. And uh, he said, why don't you come out to Lemster and play? I thought, what a good idea, because Lemster was on the second shortlist, not the first shortlist. So it's, it's been promoted from the second shortlist to the first shortlist. So I'm going to go in Lemster. I'm going to play with a, a young man. He's at Hartbury College, which is it's that way, about 10 miles-ish, eight, eight or nine, 10 miles. So he's learned the, the tricks of the trade, learning the tools of the trade, what's a, or whatever you want to call it. And... Uh, we're going to go play some golf and no doubt I'm going to be humbled by a young man striping it 300 yards down the middle. Now he's asked for a match and I'm thinking mm, that could be a bit tough but you know we'll we'll make it up on the day. It's going to be in April I think because I'll, I'll be back from the holiday by then and hopefully playing some reasonable golf. Talking of reasonable golf let's go and finish this off into the bucket hole. Now somebody had a hole in one here last week into the bucket hole and uh, unfortunately it didn't count because it's the, it's the super size hole. Poor devil. I bet he still had to buy the drinks though. Yeah, I can't take temporary greens serious. Now I want to talk about comments, especially the last video, playing safe. Now that was a video where I just did it as an experiment to see what would happen. And what happened was I made a ton of bogeys that I wouldn't normally make. But I thought, you know, it might be helpful for people who are putting sevens, eights and nines on their card higher handicappers. Now I had a lot of comments saying I can't play golf like that and guess what neither can I but it was an experiment but I was very grateful for those comments for the for the ones that completely disagreed with me. The last thing I want in my comments is an echo chamber where everybody agrees with what I say because then I don't learn anything. You see I learn things from what you guys say just the same way as I learn things from people I play golf with when I watch them chip and putt, or what clubs they're taking off the tee, whether they're playing to the fat or whether they're taking on the narrow. So in the comments I learn from what you guys say. So yeah, I, I can't play safe like that either. But I learn to pick and choose where I play safe and where I play hard. Now, 
somewhere in the middle of January, back end of January, there's the opposite video coming out where I come out here and I'm hitting driver and I'm taking on flags that I really should leave alone. So we'll see what happens in that. Do I score better? Do I score worse? Well, obviously I'm going to score better because I'm hitting greens rather than laying up short of them. But, you know, don't worry about giving me a comment that is the exact opposite of what I said in the video. Because, you know, Lee Trevino aims that way. Sam Sneed aims that way. Who's right? They both are, because they've found a way of playing the game that suits themselves to minimise their score. I almost said maximise, but you know, minimise. They get round in a small number because they've found a way of doing it that suits them. So some of these videos are, does this suit me, does it not? Will it suit you, will it not? And nobody's right and nobody's wrong. So keep firing the comments in. You see anything on one of my videos you disagree with, you want to say, I wouldn't do it that way. Crack on, because I, I want to hear it. Right, there's a video out on the end, about the end of January about playing our winter mats. We're on 12 here. We're 80 odd yards forward, 84, 85 yards forward. There's the corner of the dog leg and the out of bounds. So we can, uh, two choices. I can hit this to where I would normally drive from 80 yards back there. Or we can take on the corner. Well, let's have some fun and take on the corner. Flags at the back. I got the ball well up there, so let's just hope it's not too long. Shame you couldn't see that bounce. Not sure how I'm going to do that on Shot Tracer. The thing about Shot Tracer is it's not perfect. If you watch on a big screen, you will see that the ball curves an awful lot more than the Shot Tracer shows. And that's just the quality of something that costs £5.99. There's nothing I can do about that. Now, I, I do know it's better on uh, Apple than Android. It's even better if you get it on your computer. But um, I'm happy with what I'm doing. But if you do see, say if you do watch on a big screen, you'll see that Shot Tracer tells lies. Do you know what? I, I have no idea how I'm going to play the second shot. The problem we're missing right is these trees. Now I can get up over, but I wouldn't be able to reach. So all I've got is a chip out Try and make a par.
Yeah, so don't miss the 13th to the right. North wind, soft ground, and it's time for an angry driver Fuck after yeah. that double. Yep, eight iron looks a lot for 120 yards. Hold on. But it was a north wind. Oh. And I've missed this left. Club drop time, but I'm not dropping it on these mats. Right, so the biggie for me this coming year is to lose some weight. Yeah, I'm about 14, 15 pounds, maybe a fraction more overweight. And I feel it, and I'm comfortable, and I feel bloated. You know, it's, it's not a lot, but it's got to be done. And you can't keep saying, I'll do it tomorrow. you got to do it today. So, my Christmas lunch is not going to be the mound that it normally is. It's going to be quite modest. The trouble is, is I, I sit on my backside six days a week in an office. All right, it's in my own house, which is even worse because it means I don't walk anywhere. So I need to lose weight. I need to get fitter. You know, out in Thailand when it's going to be 36 degrees and 98% humidity, I'm going to feel every ounce that I'm overweight. I'm going to get very tired out there unless I do something about it. The important thing with that shot is to keep this blade open. Don't let it wrap over. Should have a par putt. Well, as there is a two ball coming up behind me, I'll give myself that. A bit muddy. I think this is what I call my bottom you know the part of the year where I play my worst and then from here we have lessons we practice hard and we bounce back you know we, playing badly gives you the motivation to improve that's that's the way I look at it well, the lie here isn't good enough to do anything with other than clunk it and move it forward a bit. Now with editing, sometimes I'm very keen on editing and sometimes I'm not. So I've cut out the amount of captions I put on the screen. And to be honest, that's why you gotta hit fairways in the winter. To be honest, I like what Top Bloke said. If you try too hard, it looks like crap TV. And I'm not very good with computers and stuff. Well, it's bang on line, but it's a little short. There's a little downslope to the flag, so I've caught the downslope. Could be stiff. So it's probably better for me not to try that hard with putting stuff on the screen. Plus, of course, there's the cost.
Yeah, I needed a shot of tea there. Tell you what's interesting, there's a roll mark here that goes into the cup. So somebody's had a two this morning. <laughs>